My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. Today on the Joe Opinionated list, I'm getting ready to do top 10 movies from director Robert Zemeckis. Robert Lee Zemeckis was born on May 14th, 1952 in Chicago, Illinois. Robert Zemeckis was a uh, visual arts specialist. At one point, I believe he forced himself into Steven Spielberg's office and said, you need to work with me. He got his breakthrough with a movie called Romance in the Stone. Robert Zemeckis, to me, is a little bit underrated. He is able to put you into a different world. Best Robert Zemeckis movies. Number 10. Some people make fun of it a little bit, saying that the, the faces look a little bit creepy, but it's actually a groundbreaking movie. The movie came out in 2004. It's now a Christmas classic. It's called The Polar Express. Okay, number nine all-time Japanese list came out in 2000. This one's directed and produced by Robert Zemeckis, and it's called Castaway. Going back to Tom Hanks again. So he's worked with him a few times on some pretty big movies, and this was a big movie. 1984, he got his big break directing a movie with Michael Douglas, Romancing the Stone. This movie also stars Kathleen Turner and Danny DeVito. 1997, Robert Zemeckis produced and directed this movie, and the movie is Contact. I saw this one in the theaters. I love Jodie Foster. Obviously, growing up, she's one of the greatest actors of all time. For me, the greatest Denzel Washington movies are Training Day and Flight in 2012. This is directed and produced by Robert Zemeckis, who is a pilot himself. And this is a crazy story. Denzel Washington is so good in this show. And once again, it's another one of those shows where it's it's out there, but it could happen. Number five all-time Japan list best Robert Zemeckis movies. He's the director of this movie in 1988. And it's Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Just watching the preview and for this takes me back to watching this movie in the theater. People cheering in the theater. I remember just thinking it was such a cool event. One of the best movies I ever went to as a kid in the theater. Recollects. Okay, 1994. Robert Zemeckis released the best picture of the year, according to some. Forrest Gump. Easily be number one on, on most lists. It's a very popular movie. I love Forrest Gump. I've got the soundtrack on vinyl, which was one of the biggest soundtracks of my adolescence. That one, and I would say Dazed and Confused is another huge one. Maybe Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction. What a great show. And once again, the special effects. And once again, this could have maybe happened. I don't know about all the coincidences with him, but it's a stretch, but it's believable. And you fall in love with this character that Tom Hanks plays and his best buddy, Bubba, and his girlfriend, Jenna. For number three, all time, Japan list, I'm going with 1990s Back to the Future Part Three. If you know me, you know what's coming. I don't know about you, but I've been obsessed with Back to the Future since I was a little kid, since this came out. The first Back to the Future was the first VHS I ever remember watching. And I can still picture that tape going in and out and just what it looked like at our friend's house. And this was back when you'd rent the VCR and it came in this giant suitcase, <laughs> top loaded. And, you know, you pump it in there and it was like everybody's gathering around and you had like a couple of these huge VHS boxes. Back to the Future 3... And when I was a kid, it was, you know, the worst one. Yeah, I've grown to love it. And I love Westerns, and I'm glad that they went this way. Number two, all time, I'm going with Back to the Future 2 from 1989. So they made the Back to the Future 2 and 3 together and released them, I think it was like less than a year apart. I remember going and watching Back to the Future 2 in the theaters, and at the end, they had the preview for Back to the Future 3, and that was the first time I'd seen that. I later saw that, I think, with Kill Bills. Talking about cool, growing up as a kid, uh, nothing cooler than Back to the Future 2. And it was just a countdown until 2015 to see how many of these things are actually real and were going to come true. I mean, we definitely thought we were getting flying cards. We got the 3D movies, but the Cubbies won the World Series. Now, I've got some honorable mentions, but uh, we're going to go uh, back to the Back to the Future trilogy for my number one movie all time, Japanated List, from Robert Zemeckis. It's Back to the Future, 1985. Like I said, it's the first VHS I ever remember seeing going into a VCR and then watching a movie. <laughs> I remember that this was like the only movie, aside from maybe wrestling VHSs, that I wanted to rent when I was a little kid. I loved this show. My family loved this show. I was from Edmonton, Alberta, where where uh, Michael J. Fox is from, which is also something very cool. I think my sister was in love with him. Crispin Glover, Christopher Lloyd. This is this movie is just lights out. So I want to thank you again for uh, watching the Joe Pini list. Remember to check the description for links to 
all the trailers that I just mentioned in order, starting with Back to the Future 1 and working all the way down to the Polar Express. Check out the links to the artists, the Canadian artists that are letting me use their music, the Trist Stones, the actual Goners, and Jordan Venn. But let me know what your tops are. Where did I screw up here? Where did I go wrong? What did I miss? Let me know. I can take it. Live and let live. Feel free to gank my list. I'm sorry. I'm a little low on facts high on opinions. Respect to Robert Zemeckis and Back to the Future trilogy, one of the greatest trilogies of all time.